hi everyone and welcome back to my channel my name is Timmy Banjo if it's your first time here welcome to my channel I am a youtuber in Lagos Nigeria and if you're not new here welcome and thank you for coming back today I'm going to be showing you guys what I eat on a low carb diet as many of you know I have stopped keto about two weeks ago three weeks ago and many of you want to know what I eat on a low carb diet just to maintain my weight and you know keep the weight off and keep the scale down <laughs> so if that sounds like something you're interested in make sure you keep on watching okay before we start i am here again <laughs> if you haven't subscribed to my channel kindly hit the subscribe button below give this video a thumbs up and click the notification bell also so you do not miss any of my uploads and without further ado let's start this video after the intro <laughs> So for my breakfast, I'm having a um, green plantain and tilapia fish. This is the plantain I'm going to use. This is slightly ripe or it's not yet as ripe as the very soft plantain. And I'm just going to open this up. I want you to show me how to get to know someone like you, someone like So right here, I have salt, pepper, ginger powder and garlic powder i'm going to add a little bit of cooking oil to this mixture now i'm going to mix this up because this is what i'm going to use to spice up my tilapia fish so this is my tilapia fish i'm going to make some cuts in this so the spice can go in properly And then massage the whole spice into my fish. So my fish looks ready to go into the oven. I'm going to place this here. Mind you, I'm using two different trays for my for my plantain and for my fish. Alright, so while my fish and plantain is in the oven, I just want to tell you that this video is sponsored by Ileo Bar Farms. I get my chicken from them and they make whole farm produce. They make pork, they make chicken, they make, they supply eggs. Did I say they make? <laughs> they breed or and their food is 100% clean. You don't have um, issues. <laughs> you don't have issues of, um, you know, all those artificial growth. Or artificially grown chickens and I'm going to be using their chicken today I'll show you guys what it looks like they you can find them on Instagram also as Ileoba farms I'm going to leave that name on the screen somewhere here and also their phone numbers so please get your whole breed chicken and they can even cut it for you if you want they make deliveries to your homes and I'm going to use their chicken today and show you what it looks like clean chicken big chicken sumptuous chicken all right so this is a whole chicken i got from them and it is huge it is large they put in every other thing inside here the chicken and um, what's it called finger legs and the gizzard and the head is inside here and this is what i'm going to use to make my next meal I just wanted to show you guys what this chicken looks like they can deliver to your house if you want and please make sure you check them out on instagram give them a call today and check out their stock Okay, so for lunch, I'm having rice sticks, vegetable rice sticks, and I'm going to put this here while I pour boiling water or hot water into this. You don't need to cook this because it will get too soft. 
all you need to do is just pour some hot water cover it up and leave to get soft so i want to go ahead and start making the sauce now i'm going to start by boiling some cooking oil into the pan and then add shredded chicken from Ileoba farms I'm going to go ahead and spice up my chicken now with some salt grinded pepper garlic and ginger powder So I'm going to add eggs to this part of the pan. I'm going to go in with some soy sauce Alright, so this is done. I'm going to start adding my vegetables to um, this cooking now and I'm adding cabbage and bell peppers I'm also adding shredded carrots and some spring onions So you can see you don't need to cook this, it's already soft up inside the hot water only. I'm going to add this to the vegetables cooking now. You can see the vegetable proportion or proportion to the um, rice stick is more. So. There's a bit of a balance here and this can make you go into a carb deficit diet. Alright, so my lunch is ready and this is what I'm having for lunch. I just sprinkled some sesame seed on my rice sticks. It's also known as vermicelli. Anyways, you can see there's a balance of vegetables, protein and rice stick there, which is totally healthy for you. Alright, so for my dinner, I'm having potato salad. And this is misty because I just poured some salt inside here and this is potato wedges I cut up I'm going to put this in the boiling water or in the hot water for it to boil and while this is boiling I'm going to chop up my salad ingredients In my previous video where I made salad, somebody was asking why I don't put the seeds 
into the salad and that's because it contains a lot of water and it makes my salad really watery so i set it aside for my smoothies I have leftover shredded carrots I used from the afternoon so this is what I'm going to use for my salad. Alright so my potato is boiled now. I'm going to sieve this out and put it on top of my salad. Alright so my dinner is ready and this is what I'm going to be having for dinner. I have a friend who introduced me to this recipe and ever since I tried it it was so nice and I like incorporating this into my meals. This is a mixture of vegetables and carbohydrates also from the potato and if you want to you can put in cream or not but later on I might eventually put cream but these days I'm loving my salads without cream. <music> 